Hi 20 somethings, my name is Aubrey and welcome to this channel where we make the financial most out of our 20s. In today's video, we will figure out what kind of investor you are. Are you hands-on? Are you hands-off? Are you risk-averse, moderate, or aggressive? Knowing what kind of investor you are is incredibly important so that you end up happy. <laughs> if an aggressive investor does risk-averse tactics, they will not be happy. And if a risk-averse person does aggressive tactics, they will not be happy. This little quiz we're going to be doing will help you figure out where you land up on that spectrum and help you decide what kind of decisions you want to make, what you want to go into. I have a link in the description that you can follow along and take this quiz on so that it can track your points for you. If you don't want to go on to SurveyMonkey, no worries. We'll do the quiz on this video. So just keep track of your points and we will do 10 questions that are point base and three questions that are AB and that will kind of tell you whether you're risk averse or whether you are hands on, hands off. So definitely do the whole quiz and you will leave this video with so much more knowledge than you came in with. I'm the kind of person who loves personality tests. So this is something I wanted to do for you guys so that you can make the most educated decisions going into your investments. All right, so we're going to jump on into it. Please give this video a like right now. Please hit that button so that it turns blue. Hit subscribe, hit the notifications so you get updated when I'm uploading. If you haven't seen my previous video, it was from last week. It's called the six signs that you're ready to start investing plus investing basics. I highly encourage you to check that video out so that you know whether you're ready to start investing. No worries if you're not, you can still take this quiz and figure out what kind of investor you will be when it's time to go. I hope you guys like this video and let's jump into it. Question number one. I believe in the system and think the stock market as a whole will always go up in value. Yes. No, it's about the right pick or market. Question number two. Earning passive income from my investments while invested is very important to me. Yes, absolutely, I want to be paid income while invested. I am more concerned with growth. Question number three. Watching my invested money fluctuate will give me anxiety. Yes, that would give me a lot of anxiety. I might get anxiety, but I can wait it out. I don't get any anxiety because the market swings both ways. Question number four. I am willing to risk more for higher reward. No, moderately, yes, absolutely. Question number five. I would rather have guaranteed reward, but miss out on a possible higher reward. Yes, moderately, no, I do not want to miss out. Question number six. I like hopping on trends or shiny new stocks. No, I prefer the tried and true. I think it's good to diversify. Yes, strike while the iron is hot. Question number seven. I can wait out any storm. I prefer liquidity, moderately, yes, I'll wait. Question number eight. I believe in diversification, absolutely, moderately. It's not as important as being in the right field. Question number nine. I think I can beat the market. No, that is a waste of time. I can be a winner in the market. I can absolutely crush the market. Question number 10. Calculating risk is more important than calculating potential reward. Yes, I consider both closely, no. Now we will be going into the last three questions, which are A or B. So these will not have points, but you will want to track whether or not you receive more A's or more B's. I want to be personally responsible for picking individual stocks. No, let the professionals do it. Yes, I want complete control. I want to choose the companies I invest in. No, yes. I am willing to pay a fee to have my money handled by professionals. Yes, no. Okay, so the results. 
Results time. Okay, so for those last three questions, if you received mostly A's, that means you are a hands-off investor. This means you should be looking into mutual funds, ETFs, and REITs. Now within ETFs, mutual funds, and REITs, you can also still be risk averse, aggressive, or moderate. If you received mostly B's, that means you are a hands-on investor. This means that you would rather make your own specific decisions for your portfolio. You might be interested in, in individual stocks, individual bonds, picking exact real estate, and also commodities. If you received between 10 and 20 points, you are risk averse. This means you like to play it safe and have guaranteed reward, even if it's a small reward. You want investments to be highly liquid and to have cash available. You don't like trends and you don't like shiny things. You're not interested in breaking the new tech that's gonna hit the market. You believe in the slow and the steady. And finally, you think calculating risk is more important than calculating possible reward. You would likely be interested in certificate deposits, bonds, high yield savings accounts, gold, or a very, very rock solid ETF or mutual fund. If you receive between 20 and 35 points, you are a moderate investor. You like to see the money. As a moderate investor, you like strategy. You want to do research and understand your portfolio. You believe in diversification and know you can't put all your eggs in one basket. You're not as interested in major growth, but you're probably more interested in having residual income and overall growth. You also like to have access to invested cash. Flow. Great investments for you would be S&P 500 stocks or anything that's going to follow the stock market. These can be packaged in ETFs or also mutual funds. Probably also would be interested in dividend blue chip stocks. These are stocks with incredibly high safety scores. You might also be interested in steady stocks. This could be things like Ford, Amazon, banks, McDonald's, fast food, and you believe in the tried and true, and you're not as likely to jump on a very volatile stock such as Tesla. A moderate investor also might be interested in gold. If you receive between 35 and 50 points, you are an aggressive investor. You're the kind of person who can wait out any storm and have no fear. You are someone who seeks risk for a higher reward. You're likely to take on emerging markets and emerging companies. You're willing to take an asymmetric risk. An example would be purchasing cryptocurrency. So a Bitcoin costs about $5,000. You might invest in this knowing that it might go to zero, but with the projected growth that it's going to go to 1 million. As an aggressive investor, you are willing to, to seek that high risk for that high reward. Aim to beat the market. You also might do penny stocks. You could invest in aggressive ETFs and mutual funds. These would be ETFs that are very specific to a market, like a technology ETF could go into a volatility ETF as well, and that would also be considered incredibly aggressive. So what kind of investor are you? Let me know in the comments below because I'm freaking dying to know. Um, it'd be fantastic news to hear that you are any of them because all of the types of investors are great. If you're investing at all, you're doing it right, and I am incredibly proud of you. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a like, like I said. If you haven't already, please like it. If you liked anything I said, if you like my face, if you like my channel, or if you just like being alive, give this video a like, and I will see you guys next week. I cannot wait, so I'll see you then. Bye 20-somethings. Don't worry, we're going to cover everything on this channel. Next week, we'll be talking about dividend versus growth stocks, and we'll also be talking about ETFs versus mutual funds. We'll also cover corporate bonds and government bonds, that so you know everything that's going on, and you are on your way to financial freedom and success.